Oh, I I did notice there were some uh, pretty good sale, pretty good sales going on, and since it was Sunday, <coughs> so, you know, people are trying to get rid of their stuff, and so they don't have to haul it all back in the truck and take it home with them. So uh, uh, there were there were multiple discounts. Uh, they were averaging around either a five percent discount on new or used guns, or a 10% discount on any purchase of any new guns, at, and I saw those at multiple uh, dealer booths, so it's the, the gun market is pretty maybe saturated, I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but the guns are flooding, have flooded the market and they're sh sitting on the shelves right now, so Deals will are out there. Their prices are going down compared to how it was the past couple of years. So I'm thinking maybe after Christmas, prices will pretty much across the board. Well, maybe not all across the board, but mostly come down even a little bit more because after everyone buys all their stuff for Christmas, yada yada yada, and uh, the dealers still see it all. They still got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of inventory left over after all the Christmas sales. They might say, well, time to lower the prices again. And uh, I also do look on like J&G sales or like Center Fire Systems, Glass Firearms, etc. Uh, I use that as a pretty good way to average out the regular current price of some specific firearm I'm looking for. like taken AKs for examples because well I'm a fan of AKs and I'll go on JNG classic center fires etc and see what their prices are and basically average them out and say take a Wasser 10 for example uh, at the time I make this video they're averaging about five hundred dollars and on the websites I just listed so I usually keep that in mind before going out and buying something I'm really have my mind set to buy. <sighs> okay, well, back on to the gun show. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really see anything too weird there this time. I'm as in weird. I mean, sometimes you'll see all like a booth full of just like Nazi gear and stuff and Nazi flags, and just walking by that, I'm like. Uh, I guess it's kind of awkward. And uh, uh, another example uh, at the Dallas Market Hall gun show, their big one back in April of this year. That Nazi stuff was still there, but by far the weirdest thing I ever saw was a Scientology booth. It like they were advertising here, take this free stress test or whatever. I don't know. It's weird stuff, and they're off also saying, hey, here, have a free copy of Dianetics, the Scientologist Bible. That was by far the weirdest thing I ever saw. But, that, yeah, I only saw that Scientology booth at the uh, Dallas Market Hall show. But, yeah, anyways, yeah, I didn't see any of the Nazi regalia stuff at this new Louisville show, so yeah, didn't really see anything too weird there. Um, Alright. Let's see what else is there to talk about the show. Uh, oh, there were some uh, pretty good gun safe deals. Uh, what is it, Winchester? I don't, I don't I don't remember the exact safe, but uh, these guys are running like 20% off on their safes, and unfortunately, I don't remember the exact prices, but they they were good. So uh, another thing about the market being saturated or overflowing with firearm stuff is you know, safes are going down in price at least at the gun show I saw or that I went to so good yeah prices going down in general uh, oh yeah I did stop by another table that had a bunch of AR lowers and they range from like 30 to 40 bucks all the way up to 120 and yeah, they had a, a good amount, and so that's just, I might end up picking up some AR lowers just just cause because they're cheap now, and 
again, looking at how how much they costed uh, a couple of years ago, now is probably the cheapest they're going to be, unless if they go down again after Christmas. <laughs>